Healthcare organizations across Canada use inter-I assessment instruments to assess people at the point of care. Because this information is captured electronically in real time, it can be readily used by those who provide care to understand a person's strengths, needs and preferences, to flag potential risks and to help make important clinical decisions about a person's health. Inter-I assessment instruments use standard language and have a common core set of assessment items and a common way of measuring care outcomes. This makes it easier for staff to provide care in different healthcare settings and helps to improve the quality of care by promoting continuity across the continuum of care. This video describes how information from inter-I assessment instruments can be used at the clinical level to plan care and measure outcomes and at the organizational level for quality improvement activities, benchmarking, program planning and resource allocation. First, it's important to understand what InterI is and what it does. InterI is a not-for-profit international research network that is committed to improving care for medically complex people and people with disabilities. InterI develops and refines its assessment instruments using proven research-based methods. These assessment instruments are used in virtually every healthcare sector, including home care, long-term care, community care, and mental health. Let's take a closer look at one of the instruments, the InterI Long-Term Care Facilities, or LTCF assessment instrument, and how you can use it. Meet Jane. She was admitted to her new nursing home three days ago. Karen, a nurse at the nursing home, is Jane's assessor and she's doing Jane's initial inter-I assessment interview. Today I'm kind of down. You are, eh? Yes. Uh, some days I'm better. Mm -hmm. But when I get the pain in my chest, but the doctor says it's not my heart. No. But I sometimes get, still get the pain in my chest. And I, I'm, I'm, all, I'm really sad. You are, eh? Mm-hmm. Sometimes when I think of my, my husband, and I miss him so much. As an assessor, Karen knows that the person she's assessing is her main source of information. She's now going to complete the items of the assessment that look at mood. Using her experience and clinical judgment, Karen will complete the inter-I assessment to provide a snapshot of Jane's emotional well-being at this point in time. Here's the section Karen's completing. Remember that these assessments are recorded electronically, capturing Jane's information in real time. Today I'm kind of down. Some days I'm better. But I sometimes get, still get the pain in my chest. I'm really sad. And I miss him so much. Once the assessment is completed electronically, a number of clinical outputs are automatically generated. These clinical outputs can then be used to support care planning for Jane. For example, the information Karen collected about Jane in the section of the assessment on mood triggered the clinical assessment protocol for mood. These clinical assessment protocols, or CAPS as they are commonly called, help identify areas where Jane may be at risk, where she has the potential to improve, or where she may need assistance or interventions to prevent deterioration. CAPS can help resolve the problem, reduce the risk of decline, or increase the potential for improvement. Karen can refer to the Inter-I CAPS manual to learn about what caused Jane to trigger the mood cap, as well as about possible interventions she can use to address Jane's mood status. For example, seeing if engaging Jane in some of the home's activities will help address her sadness. Outcome scales are another clinical output that can help clinicians understand how a person is functioning, now and over time. For example, the Depression Rating Scale, or DRS, provides a measure of Jane's mood in terms of a score. This score can now be used as a baseline to compare with the one that's generated when Jane has her next inter -I assessment. In this way, Karen can measure whether Jane's mood has improved or deteriorated, and she can modify Jane's plan of care accordingly. Now that we have this information about Jane, what else can we do with it? As we've seen, when Jane was first admitted to her nursing home, she had an inter -I assessment done that generated baseline scores for several clinical outputs. But it doesn't end there. 
The data from the inter-eye assessments that have been completed for all of the people in Jane's nursing home can be combined to paint an overall picture of the level of care and changing needs of this facility's residents. When looking at all of the assessment information gathered within Jane's nursing home, some organizational outputs are also generated. These outputs also have a direct impact on clinical care planning because they support the services and programs that clinicians put in place for the people they care for. What are these organizational outputs? They include quality indicators and case mix systems. Quality indicators such as treatment of pain, number and frequency of falls, and the use of some types of medications prescribed can be used to identify quality improvement activities. In other words, quality indicators enable organizations to track trends and progress on activities that have been implemented. In addition, case mix systems provide a consistent way to classify or sort individuals into groups that are similar in their clinical characteristics and the resources they use. In this way, case mix systems support organizational decision-making on staffing, quality improvement, benchmarking, and program planning. In some instances, they can be used as part of funding models. When clinicians complete assessments accurately and consistently, all of these outputs work together to support quality care for the individual. Because a common language is used, an individual's outcomes can be tracked and the outputs generated used for care planning across the continuum of care. Facilities and organizations that use inter eye assessments submit their assessment information to the Canadian Institute for Health Information, CHI-HI, through a secure online reporting system. CHI-HI then analyzes, combines and sorts all the data it receives and makes it available to organizations for comparable reporting across Canada. In addition, clients can use this valuable information to support decision-making across the health system.